is the church I attended as a child. And this was a beautiful church, and it, it was a beautiful circular, almost half circle um, sanctuary. But I'm also, this was built in 1924, and then this was, the, this is our education building that was added in the 50s. My grandfather built that building. What we want to show you is how some of the pieces we were able to carry from this church to the church we are worshiping in today. For example, if you open these doors, open them back, what you're going to see is Jesus in the garden. We have that hanging in the uh, entry to the offices. Then these windows are used differently, but they are used in the new sanctuary, as well as the ones at the top, which were up in the balcony. And they are up high in the new sanctuary. I told you when you open the front doors, to the old sanctuary, the 1924 sanctuary, that you would see Jesus in the garden. This is the stained glass window you would have seen. If you went to the right and the left to enter the sanctuary, eventually you would come all the way around if you chose, and you could see this the opposite way. You would see the window from inside the sanctuary. It is now uh, hanging in our uh, foyer to our offices and you can still see it from outside if you wish to walk around to the other side outside uh, this was given to the church by uh, dr tm fleming and his family uh, dr fleming was um, a doctor in mount pleasant and he was also one of the owners of the um, mount pleasant or delwood park hotel and spa. Well, I doubt that any of you have seen of it and maybe not heard of it, but it's where the swimming pool sits today. We're going to talk a little bit about the legacy of the women of Tennyson. And what we have right here is a tea set, coffee and tea set, presented by Mrs. T.C. Walker Sr to the WSCS, the Women's Society of Christian Service, uh, at Tennyson. And uh, this was for their, their coffees, their teas. They often served lunch, and um, of course, they always served bereavement dinners and uh, many, many other uh, things uh, that they had to serve for us. Okay, we said we were going to talk about the legacy of the women of Tennyson. So I have a little story to start with, with the Women's Missionary Society. That was the beginning of the women's groups in the Methodist Church. So in 1924, they wanted to be sure that they had a pipe organ, but they didn't have the money. So they got busy and they sold cakes, pies, dinners, whatever, asked for donations until they had the money for the pipe organ. That pipe organ was in the 1924 sanctuary, and it is now in the current sanctuary. You don't see the uh, pipes now, but the organ is here and it sounds beautiful. And I spent some time, remember, we were also talking about windows. Well, I could not figure out who a W, a J.H. Wilder could possibly be. So, Faino Taylor and I got busy, and thanks to her, I have a lot of information. Well, Mr. Wilder bought a window 
in honor of the Women's Missionary Society because he wanted to honor them for raising the money to buy the organ from his music company. So now we know who J.H. Wilder is and why that window is in this sanctuary. You're still talking windows, and guess what? The Women's Missionary Society also bought their own window. And so we went from the uh, Women's Missionary Society, was first organized in Boston in 1869. And the organization became the uh, Women's Society of Christian Service in the 1950s, and then the United Methodist Women in 1973. So this was the beginning of the women. And here at Tennyson, we now have Martha Ministries. If you will notice in the sanctuary, you will see that the tops of the windows alternate with the bottoms of the windows, which show names in memory of, in honor of. And then on the very top, you will notice the uh, windows that were used in the balcony of the 1924 church. I think it's wonderful that we have been able to preserve and bring forth with us um, some of the special pieces of our history, our legacy, so that we remember those people who went before us in this church and the things that go forward. The women of this church did so much and they still do. So when you think about legacies, think about the people who went before you.